So this is snow event. Uh, I don't even know anymore. I, I think it's 11, maybe 12. I'm not sure. Like I said, I lost track, but this is the seventh day in a row. I know that for sure. We've been going the 23rd of December, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and today's the 29th. We have not fucking stopped, but you know what? The war has finally came to an end, and uh, this uh, looks like it'll be our last day for a while by the looks of uh, the forecast for the next 14 days. So all of our men are heading out right now. It's currently 3.45 in the morning. Everybody's gonna be at their first houses for 4 a.m. And uh, we're going to clean all the ends of our customers' driveways. So as you know, when it snows a lot, the graders leave a lot of hard pack on the street and now they're cutting it all down. So we're gonna be heading out to clean all the end of the driveways. Degenerate one, two, and three. <laughs> So yeah, we're just about to leave the shop here. Like I said, there's like fucking ice banks up to my waist from those city graders, uh, scraping those subdivisions and side streets. Um, we got a lot of hard to pack, like I said, especially with uh, the type of weather we had. It was very, very, very mild. So getting almost three feet of snow, four feet of snow in, in six days, um, it packed to the ground quite bad. So everything's getting all cleaned up and uh, and we got about 10 tractors to fix. No, I'm just joking, but there's obviously a lot of maintenance and a lot of work to do. We got a transmission that needs to be rebuilt. Uh, we got a diff, uh, a differential that broke. We need to fix that. We got to go pick up a brand new blower. We got a brand new tractor, Kubota L6060 being built. Then we got to go pick that up Saturday. We got to bring our other Kubota L6060, that brand new one with the shitty Norman, traditional Norman uh, pole type. We have to go bring that back to the dealership to get snow ready. And uh, there's a couple other odds and ends. I got a whole list of shit that needs to be done. But like I said, we fucking made it through the battle. We made it through the war and we absolutely fucking murdered it. Um, all I could say is if we could do this, we could do anything. And that's just the truth. And I wanna thank all my men. Uh, I wanna thank all the people who've helped us out through this snowstorm. And I want to thank our customers as well for being so considerate and appreciating all our hard work through the holidays. So, yeah, we fucking crushed it. But it uh, looks like that's going to be it for a while. I'll catch you guys. Beauty. Nothing like an espresso. You ain't a true WAP if you don't drink espresso. Fuck, finally, I've only been screaming for five minutes, fuck. All right, all of West End is clear to head back up. Thank you very much. Tractors and tractors 17, I'm trying to east too. What, uh, where do you want me? Just hold for one second, tractor 17, please. Copy that. Tractor 17, it is showing that 71 Barber Boulevard was missed. Please go back and make sure that it was not missed. On Barber Boulevard right now, um, I was just, just clicking them all while I said that. If you could look back to be honored. Copy that. Please go to East 1 and give them assistance there so we can finish wrapping this up, guys. So, Coach. How do you think? Oh, oh I don't oh. got time, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh, bro, I have five people on that route. Yeah, I have like four. Sorry, yeah, I have five people or four people on that route. I can't do much more, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm piling people on there now. That's the last route that needs to be finished off, and we're done. I'm getting them another phone call though, so I'll talk to you soon. Number nine, they should have called a long time ago. This is brutal. I think they're on vacation because, yeah, they haven't called us at all. Hey, John. Hey.
What's up? Okay, um... Yeah, there's Tiago calling me now. One second, I'm gonna radio. Goodbye. Tiago and John, you are cleared to head back from the East End. Thank you. Mitch, uh, me and Jesse are done. Uh, Central Park. Joe and Jesse, you are clear to head back. Tiago and John, you are clear to head back. Dispatch, uh, Charger 7, me and Denver, I'll finish Central 7. Copy that. Tractor 7 and Tractor 14, you are clear to head back to Shaw. Mitch, is anybody here number 5? I'm having a hell of a time lining up this pin. Copy that. Just one second, Tractor 5. Eric, are you able to make your way to Tractor 5? Dude, just head, head back. Head back. I'm going to get that radio looked at. Head back. Hi, Vanessa? Yes, speaking. Hi, Vanessa. This is Stefano calling from Northern Snow. How are you doing? I am good. We, we see that you're interested uh, in our snowblowing service for the remainder of the season at 451 Douglas. Yes. Yeah, I was curious if you uh, wanted to sign up with us for the remainder of the winter so we could take care of you. Hi, Colleen. Hello. Hi, Colleen. This is Stefano calling from Northern Snow. Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> well, I'm dug out. <laughs> oh, well, that's a better start. I'm just calling in regards to your contract request on our website here. I was seeing if you're interested in our snowblowing service for the remainder of the winter so we could take care of you. Well, we'd be happy to take care of it for you. Uh, that includes anytime it snows five centimeters or more, we'll come service your driveway. We also include return trips at the city plow or grader goes by. We have support at all times, customer support at all times. Um, we also have an automated text alert or phone call alert system to notify you when we're on our way. That way you move the vehicles and we get a nice clean pass. And then we also come twice within a, a snow event. And how that works is, um, We'll dispatch for 4 a.m. We'll have the end of your driveway done for 7. So if you have to get out early, the end of it will be done. And then we dispatch at 7 a.m., send alerts, and then we come clean your full driveway. You'd like to sign up then? We could uh, get you fixed up for the rest of the winter. Okay, and how do you take payment? And then how would you like to be um, alerted, Colleen? Uh, text message is fine. Okay, awesome. We'll clean it up spick and span for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's it. 1900, baby. 19 fucking 100, baby. 100 away from the goal. 1900. Let's go. Hey Samantha, this is Stefano calling from Northern Snow. So you would like a contract at 502 John Street for the remainder of the winter, right? And then for alerts, would you like to be alerted at this number by text when we're on our way to come service your driveway? Okay, you're good to go for the rest of the winter. Thank you, bye. Okay. Is this Gordon? Hey Gordon, I'm just calling to see if you're interested in our snowblowing service uh, for 229 McGregor out for the remainder of the season. So I will tell you how our service works. When you sign up with us, you're covered for the remainder of the season until April 15th. Anytime it snows five centimeters or more, we come service your driveway. We also include return trips from the city plow or grader is gone by. We do everything by snow blowers. So we have tractors with inverted snow blowers on the back, specifically designed to do residential snow removal. And then 
We come twice, not once. We'll come in the middle of the night between 4 and 7 a.m. We'll clean your driveway, have it done before 7, so if you have to get out, it's good to go. And then we'll make a second pass starting after 7 a.m. with notifications, so we alert you when we're on our way. Vehicle gets moved from the driveway if you have one parked in the driveway, and then we clean the entire laneway, and you're good to go. 500 bucks each. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. That we have no schooling for and we do it better than some people that have fucking years of schooling. We got no, no schooling around here. Biggest snow company in Sault Ste. Marie. <laughs> we got nothing here. And we got no school. I did a fucking food service worker in college, but that's it. Bro, so, I, I didn't even make it out of grade 11. <laughs> God bless. Uh, that's what happens when we have fucking people who are driven who people, people are fucking in business sense. And that's what happens. It don't matter with no fucking school. Fuck the school. Do some of the fucking billionaires have school? No, they fucking get over and get no, shit done. Nobody at none of them. They waste the time doing it to get the shit done. None of them have school. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking about getting it done. Here. Like, how do you think the last seven days have went? Oh, man, the last seven days have been very, very difficult. This has been ex an extreme snow event, to say the least. We fucking manned it, though. We, we did. did. We conquered but, hard. There's, yeah, there's definitely some things that iron out, but there's always going to be things to iron out when we got a fucking, what, over 100 plus CM snowfall in four days? Yeah. <laughs> you can't be prepared for that. There's yeah. No, there's yeah. no preparation for that. No. There's no. way too many working parts, and yeah. I think we took the snow, though. We took oh, it. We, we fucking took that snow, and we fucking... We handled it, that's for sure. Dude. Definitely. It definitely. was handled properly. We won the battle for sure. The yeah. snow the snow didn't take us this time, that's for sure. No, and that's surprising because this one was fucking, this one was a go. Luckily, we're finishing wrapping up this uh, finals end pass for this huge snow event. There'll be a little bit of touch-up work to do over the day, and then there'll also be a little bit of a couple ends pass in the, going forward because we're about to get fucked again with some uh, nice warm weather. Yeah, a little but, bit of dispatches today. A little bit of things here and there, but overall, we crushed it. We got to catch up on some of the office work now. Cause if we get another snowfall like this, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. there's no doubt in my mind that we can hit 2,000. And we signed up, what, 100 people in five days? If not if not less than that, because we've only been doing sign-ups for the past two days. <laughs> Maybe wow. three days, so. You know what I'm going to call this clip? Final day at war. <laughs> yeah, this one was, this was something, dude. How, how, how quick we were done, though? What time did we finish up the ends? Six o'clock. That's, That's a two a... hour, two two hour pass because by the time everyone left, got to the first house, a couple of guys being late. Mm -hmm. That's a two hour pass because we were wrapping it up in. Briefly, we had a machine. We had a couple machines have a little bit of issues today, which bound to happen. But uh, well, we were wrapping up this last row. It's at sixty percent. We got four guys on it. And, mm -hmm. uh, They'll be able to finish that off pretty quickly down there. Yeah, so that's it. That's a wrap. Last day at war completed. Two and a half hours and this show is over. Um, I hope the snow stays off for a while and uh, we can catch up on a lot of work that we got to do. But for the most part, um, it's all over for a bit and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.